Um, so I began composition um, roughly like 12 years old. I'd just taken my GCSE music and um, I began doing my own compositions in that and I really enjoyed it. I uh, wanted to take it further from there so I applied to Purcell and I came before sixth form and started taking lessons with um, Brian Elias and Jay Phipps. Well, originally um, I looked at the pieces that were being played alongside um, sirens and um, I wanted to create something that was contrasting. So the Stravinsky was quite bold, quite rhythmic and striking. So I wanted to create something that was very atmospheric and sort of surreal. Um, I found this painting by Paul Delvo um, called The Great Sirens, which is where um, the piece takes its inspiration from and that inspired my composition. Um, not really, this is the first completed orchestral piece I've ever written. Um, so it was a big challenge, but other than that, no, it was, it was good. Um, I'd say the most difficult was beginning the piece, and it's quite intimidating being presented with a, a full orchestral score. And just So I, I started small, started with a, with a, with a reduced score. Um, with the, uh, on the piano, and I sort of expanded out from that, I suppose, getting to that stage was the most difficult. Yeah, it was great. Um, they, they took on board like the subtle nuances that I wanted, so I was really pleased with that. Yeah, well, he referred to me a lot, and we both discussed what we wanted the orchestra to achieve. Um, and yeah, it was a joint collaboration really. A lot of people have asked me, would you rather the audience had seen the painting before or after um, they listened to the music? And I think um, it would be interesting to see their reaction um, without looking at the painting. So I think just to see how they interpret it, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think the most important part is a narrative, something that um, we can connect with and relate to. No matter how abstract, there's always going to be a narrative, and I think it's always important for the composer to consider that. Yeah, I went to um, one of Brian Elias's seminars, and um, I had to present um, my piece um, in front of the composition department, and um, at the end of it, we had like a Q&A and everyone was asking questions about it, so it was good, I had a good response. I think I'm pleased with the result. I'm, what concerned me most was um, practicality and how easy it was for, to, to play for the orchestra and um, that I'd written something that was really nice to play and comfortable for the player. And that was my biggest concern. Um, especially for, for like woodwind and brass because I I'm a string player and so I, I, I'm comfortable with writing for strings but not really for those instruments. But um, I think I, I think I handled it well enough. <laughs>